this track begin a bit violently directly <laughs> and apparently right after the rest of the hike is pretty flat pretty easy and look like the last hike we did you can see El Chalten disappearing just behind us another day in El Chalten means another hike Yesterday we took a break because we were kind of broken and we were editing the previous video of the Fitzroy hike and we're also looking for a good Wi-Fi because here it's kind of impossible it's pretty hard <laughs> and today what we, do we do? today we are going to the Cerro Torre hike which is uh, pretty uh, easy apparently it's four hours to go, four hours to come back so here we are on the beginning and there is again a beautiful sun not too much tourist so we hope that it's going to be uh, as cute than uh, two days ago we take you with us we couldn't leave patagonia or el Shalten with only one hike so that's why we decided to stay one day more uh, to give you uh, an idea about el Shalten, which is by the way uh, the capital of uh, hiking in patagonia and it's pretty crazy. Yesterday we were speaking with a local and he told us that El Chalten was really like a new town from, he told us approximately 30 years old. And uh, it's like 90% of the people here are tourists, 90%. It's really made only uh, for hiking during the winter. I'm not sure there is a lot of people around here. And apparently the tourism became really important only 10 years ago. Look who's right here. Do you recognize him? You actually see him a few days ago. Mr. Fitzroy, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty impressive, even from here. And I guess we're gonna go just behind him. It's like so much warmer than yesterday, that's for sure. Um, probably after it's going to get uh, colder. I hope so, because I think it's part of the hike to be a bit cold, you know? It's like, it's cool. It's different than hiking in the summer. And we're actually at the beginning of the summer. We just went out from the forest and uh, we are now in a really flat ground surrounded by all these uh, little trees that's pretty cool and pretty cute and i think it's going to continue like that for a while until the Cerro Torre. <laughs> look we just arrived in this really cute valley full of flowers actually and the Cerro Torres is still in front of us and Krishna is going to cross this little river <laughs> just in front of you not sure if I'm going to cross, but I'm definitely gonna jump. A good jump, and I'm I'm sure you're there. Am I ready? Yeah. Ah. Did it. When you see all of those beautiful dead and white trees over there, you definitely realize that this place was not a long time ago, I think, underwater. This is our last two kilometers before the lagoon. Look at this river. Pure water from the snow up there. Closer we get, colder it gets. And now we change completely the landscape and we are surrounded by rocks only. There's no more forest and we are almost there. Look how cute they made this little road to make the access easier. Krishna is right, only a few meters and we're there. I have the impression to be on the moon. I never went to the moon, maybe one day, I don't know. Not sure, actually. <sighs> and I think we just made it. Look at that, 
Okay, it could be without clouds, but what can we do about it, right? Still pretty cool, and there is even some iceberg. I mean, small iceberg, but iceberg. Pretty massive. We are really surrounded by this huge peak. And some people are going there on the side, actually. And here too. I think we're gonna continue just a bit to see how does it look like there. Happy, Christina, happy? Happy. Cool. And actually, they were saying that you will reach this point in four hours and we made it in three yay <laughs> maybe we don't get to see a Cerro Torre but from here you can go see at least the glacier Torre so we are now heading there in uh, again a stony little bit steep road it can be a bit far but I don't know if we're gonna do all the way to see this glacier it's really cold right now. <laughs> I didn't expect that. No matter how can you do in your jacket? I'm gonna put it. Oh yeah, you should. Woo! <laughs> we are really on the ridge now. <laughs> and it's like so cold and so windy. I'm sure you can hear it in the mic. And this is how we saw our first glacier in our lives. So it was totally worth it even if you don't see the mountain Torre. History time! So in 1959 there was the first attempt to ascend the Cerro Torre with two guys, Maestri and Edger. When they tried to descend, unfortunately Edger has died being swept by avalanche and apparently Edger had his camera, their, their camera with all of the pictures, the footage and the camera was never found so she's probably somewhere there in the ice with the body of Edger right now What? What is that? <laughs> what the? Ah! I'm the most happy man in the world! See, if you are nice to the life, the life is giving it to you back. She just offered me a fresh beer. <sighs> okay guys, so this is the end of the Cerro Torre uh, hike. We made it in uh, less than three hours, like Krishna said. It was a pretty easy hike, so don't think it's going to be so difficult for you to do. Mm -hmm. If I can give you advice, I would prefer if I start to do this hike the first day to just like warm your body and the next day you, you go can to the Fitzroy. And I think even on this video you realize that the landscape, the nature and even uh, the final uh, viewpoint is uh, less interesting than the Fitzroy. The Fitzroy is really like special nature. I don't know, it's weird, but I, I really, we really felt uh, amazed by the hike, by this hike. And this one maybe a bit less, it's, it's pretty basic, pretty flat, uh, nothing crazy is happening on it, uh, but it's still pretty cool uh, if you have a bit of time in front of you. I think it's time to end this video right here with our beautiful empanadas. empanadas. And my beer that I found in the river. Subscribe if you like this video, sure. give a thumbs up, and see you on the next one. Bye. Cheers. If you make it till the end, we wanted to thank you for watching. And if you want to support us, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our upcoming adventures and check out our previous videos. 